I couldn't think of what else to do or stay the most awkward, embarrassing moment of my career in front of the whole last cast and crew. Hi, this is Alina Andre, and these are my stunt horror stories. I got casted to play woman at food truck, but it had stunts involved. And I had a couple lines, and I was supposed to get beat up by the lead actress. I do my first take, great, they loved it, and they want to do it again. On the second take, the actress was supposed to, after I slap the fries out of her hand, she's supposed to take my head and headbutt me and then me fall to the ground. Well, what happened was, we rehearsed it a couple of times, she headbutted me, but she headbutted her leg right into my face. Kept me square in the face, square in the nose, but that wasn't the best part. The best part was afterwards in the scene when the actress wanted to help me up. And as he was helping me up, he stepped on my hair and about this chunk of hair got pulled out. He saw it because it happened that as it was being, I felt it being ripped out of my head as it was being pulled, I was being pulled up. And you can't, I don't want to mess up the scene, so I just rolled with it, obviously. This much hair on the ground, and it was this thick. And I sat there and I was like, my eyes went big, and they were like cut. They're like, yeah, the best take ever, blah, blah, blah. I was like, let me, I need funny cool minutes. You know, in the moment when you are doing stunts or any kind of action acting, you know, you're especially getting slammed, getting beat up, whatever. That was what I expected, but I wasn't expecting my hair being pulled out of my head. I took two minutes, I breathed, I came back. I was like, okay, let's do it again if you want. But man, it was being on set for almost like 20 years that helped me get the composure I had to not lose my shit. And it wasn't getting punched in the face by the actor. I expected that because it's gone wrong before. It was my hair being pulled out. And the next day I told the actor, I'm like, listen, next time could you step away? He's like, he was, he felt so bad. And of course I'm not gonna get mad at him, but next time I help myself out. But that's why they pay stunt actors or action actors like me, stunt performers, the big bucks, because when that stuff goes down, you can't get all dramatic and throw a hissy fit and be like medic and like whatever, even though I got my face slammed into your thigh. Hi, I'm Steve Rizzo, and this is my stunt double horror story. I was doubling my actor on a TV show called Life on Mars, and I was tackling another stunt guy off the back of a boat to the dock below. And we take we take a lot of precautions. We rehearse and we practice, and we we knew what we're doing, and it was just uh, one of those fluke things. Um, this particular stunt I had never done before. You can rehearse and you can practice and you can run it a million times in your head, and if something's going to happen, it's going to happen. We went for it and we went over the railing and our feet got tangled and we didn't separate and instead of landing flat on our backs, we landed head first into the pad and my neck took the brunt of my weight and his weight. Heard some cracking. Ow. <laughs> my life was flashing before my eyes. I have actually lost a few friends in the, in the 30 years I've been doing this. I didn't know what to expect. I was 3,000 miles away from home and thought I was going to end up in a hospital. And my left arm went numb and my left leg went numb. And I was kicking my feet because I wanted to make sure stuff was working. So I laid there for a good three or four minutes. The stunt coordinator came over, he saw what happened and he was immediately in my ear. And we finally stood up and I kind of shook it off and I finished the rest of the fight on the dock the rest of the day. And I uh, went back to work and ended up having to go to the hospital later that night. I was having a lot of pain in my neck and running down my running down my arm and into my leg. So they took MRIs and they took x-rays and everything was intact. It was just a stretching of the nerves and the nerves got real angry. A few years after that, the top of my left arm and into my fingertips was, was still numb. That went away after about two or three years. The, you know, the thought of it will never go away. It, and that's perfectly normal because I still have a job to do. So it was uh, the scariest time of my life, my career. And that's my stunt double horror story. So I was on a wire, I had to do a backflip into the water, but apparently I didn't know the humic stomach cannot be upside down more than 20 minutes or 18 minutes. And that morning I had a burrito for breakfast. So in the scene, I just pulled the red handle and then that's when they let go of the wire and I just took my body and did a backflip into the river. And they had me on wires because if I would have fallen in free fall, would have hit my head and died because the river was like this shallow. But it's like never fails, you know, I'll have a scene to do in a, in, a, in a jerk vest or in a harness and then they always say it right after lunch when you want to eat. You're like, mm-hmm. Well, they were trying to position this, the shot and I guess they lost track of me over there and I was hanging, my feet were just like this and I had to hold myself up with my core and, you know, up, stand up the tree. Cause if I went back down, I would just see, you know, the river. I just, they forgot I was there. And about 15, 18 minutes in, I just had a barf and he saw the, 
You saw me barfing the burrito into the water where I had it go down into, and everyone just stopped and looked at me. Like you hear a record go, <laughs> had everyone cracking up and laughing because I couldn't think of what else to do or stay the most awkward, embarrassing moment in my career in front of the whole lost cast and crew. And of course that day they had B camera rolling. So it was behind the scenes camera of that day. And of course it happened to show, it happened to show up on the day that I did that. And I'm sitting there just like embarrassed, but they thought it was the best thing ever. And then we like, Lena, can we, we need it a couple times. Like, yeah, sure, let's do it again. And we did the take a couple more times going backflip into my own burrito, burrito vomit in the river. So this day I've never ever bought the lost DVD of that season because I'm afraid to see what's on it. One day if I do become famous, you'll be like, oh, you're the girl that threw up in the river on that one scene. I'm like, yeah, that was me. And I went in it, so boom. I like empowering women on film, empowering athletic action women. And I love being like a role model for women to grow into just embracing their femininity and their strength. That's my mission in life, is to empower and impact people in a positive way and just knowing everyone is amazing in their own right. And those are my stunt double performer horror stories.